In today's episode, the Kwa siblings are all set to make a splash. Walter Tay shows you how to get glorious abs, plus find out why Akong wants to be an online star. You'll never stray too far from home. Hello everyone, welcome to Home Together. I'm Hosan Leong. You know, dreams and aspirations are what keeps us going alive and strong. Now, in this current situation, we face many problems, uncertainties, and sometimes we don't know what's around the corner. So we have to keep our hopes up and look up and keep going. Like my guests for today, our golden girl and boy of Singapore swimming, let's welcome the Kwa siblings, Kwa Ting Wen and Kwa Cheng Wen. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Before we begin our little chat today, I would like to show you guys a little picture taken from someone's Instagram. Let's have a look at this picture. Now, nice. that's a fabulous shot, Ting Wen. Like, where was that taken and, and how? I mean, wow, top view all. Um, so this was taken when I was in college uh, at UCLA. I swam for the swim team there. It was the last year of school and I think uh, someone was doing an article about the swim team right. and uh, the upcoming NC2A championships that year. So they sent a photographer down to the pool. He had me kick off the wall and he was standing on the blocks above me and that's how he got the shot oh, from the top. Okay, but what? Drone, everything, no very drama. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> not, no not, drones are not that big at that time yet. <laughs> okay. Zheng uh, Wen, what have you been doing uh, over Circuit Breaker? And now uh, phase two is now happening. Why have you, how have you been busy? Well, I mean, I got back from the US sometime in March, I think. Mm. And so I spent the first two weeks in a hotel, just, uh, yeah, kind of just relaxing and getting <laughs> food from my parents sometimes. <laughs> uh, so that was kind of weird because it was like being home, but at the same time, not actually being at home. Right, um, right. So I just kind of, read my storybooks and like played some video games and ate and sleep. I mean, that's pretty much all I did for those two weeks. And then mm. when I got back, it was pretty much the same thing. But now <laughs> just with my family. Now with your family around you, still eating and reading yeah. books and playing video games. Ting, what about you? What have you been doing over the second break of period? It's been like family time almost 24-7. Mm. I think we actually haven't been together as a family like that since my brother left for college in the beginning of 2017, so it's, wow. been, it's been about three years since we've all been together like that. Mm. I think it's really helped us to grow even closer. Well, I've seen some of your posts you know, on Instagram and, and, and you guys train together, right? This time-lapse videos, right? Zeng of you going carrying dumbbells and then throwing mats around, I don't know. I, does it help uh, training as a family? I mean... It keeps you accountable. Uh, and it keeps me motivated too. My sisters always like keep me on my toes and mm. remind me to like, I don't know, try to keep <laughs> in shape because if not, they're going to beat me. <laughs> what about training? Now it's phase two. Um, was it difficult to, to get back into the swim of things, uh, Ting Wen? So it's been an interesting process getting back into the water. I remember the first session that we had, uh, I dove in and I had to stop at the other side. One, because I was very breathless and two, because I, ha I hadn't been immersed in water for so long that it felt both familiar and also very foreign at the same time. I stopped on the other side and I told my sister, I was like, I can feel like all the water on every single hair on my body. And, and I, it sounds weird, but like, it, <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was fun. Okay, so, I, you know, you guys, both of you do so well in school and in the pool. So how do you juggle all that? I, I guess you just have to be very focused and you have to make certain sacrifices that other people don't necessarily have to. I mean, just mm. like social time and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to bed at 9 while at the same time trying to finish my homework that's due at like 8 tomorrow. I mean, it's one of the greatest things you can get from being a student athlete. You know, you yeah. go through so much difficulty and when you're done, like you're never going to do anything as hard yeah. <laughs> as my dad would say. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Ting Wen, do you agree with that? I mean, I mean, student athletes and athletes are, are a special breed of human beings. Like my brother said, we've had to give up 
things like social time. So I was I was from Raffles, and back then RGS was very close to Orchard Road. So after school, <laughs> my friends would always be like, "Hey, you want to go town?" And I couldn't because you know I always had to turn it down because I would have to go for my second swim session um, in the afternoon. So I I could never go to town mm -hmm. with my friends. But then I then I had my own social time at swim practice with mm. all my friends who were going through what I was, you know, doing. Mm. And so it's, like my brother said, it's give and take and it's really, it's what you want and what you're willing to put into it to get to where you want to be, so. Wow, I haven't yeah. heard that phrase, man. You want to go town? <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, we, we talked so much about your, your professional life, swimming and school and all that. Let's narrow it down to being a Kwa sibling, okay? <laughs> now, Ting, three words that describes your brother. I think my brother is steadfast, loyal and passionate. Steadfast, loyal and passionate. Very nice. What about you, Ting? What, 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 how would you describe your sister? I would definitely say protective, empathetic, and inspirational. Aww, that's so nice. All right, we've, we've described the both of you. What about your younger sister, uh, uh, Tingwen? Maybe you can give us some words that would describe Jing. I think my younger sister is compassionate, intense, and focused. Focused, okay. Yeah. I brought that up because, you know, last year at the Sea Games, you guys came in Boom, boom, one, two, gold, silver. How did that feel, right? Like you, you, you're on the podium and your sister's next to you. I actually thought she was going to win that race because mm. the whole second 50 of the 100 butterfly, I could actually see her coming up. Ah. And at the meet, the scoreboard was so small and so far away that I couldn't really see <laughs> who had touched first. It was only from her reaction that I, I knew that I had won. But uh, I think we get emotional because it's like you want to win, but at the same time you're happy for your sibling. When mm. when I'm always happy, like watching my siblings race and when they they swim fast and they win or like any success in their lives, like it's always been so exciting for me to watch. I'm just so proud and I'm so happy and it's like a it's like a mini win for me yeah. with not a lot of effort. It's just like standing by <laughs> yeah. the side, like uh, yay! Cheering. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. You guys have never actually competed in the pool against one another. So I have come up with this game that I call Cho. So what will happen is I will describe a word and then whoever knows what I'm describing okay. says Cho. And now you get the answer, okay? So oh, okay. very simple. The category, things associated with swimming. Here okay. we go. Yeah. First word. This is what women wear when they want to go and suntan by the pool. And it normally comes in two-piece. And yes. Jo. Jo. Ting Wen. Bikini. Bikini. Ting Wen got it. Thank you. All right, next one. Um, I wear this because I don't want to get chlorine in my eyes. And it jo. Gets, Yes. Ting Wen. Goggles. Oh my god. Goggles. Goggles. You got it right. Okay, this one is uh, when you dive into the pool in a competitive race, you have to swim in your... Jo. Yes. Chen Wen. Lane. Lane, you're absolutely right. Next word, ready, here we go. I would say the breast... The... Jo. Yes. Jo. Jo. You're right. Fifth one, okay. Um, at meets, uh, you win the gold... Jo. Yes, Ting Wen. Medal. Medal! Alright, here we go. Last two. And this one, the, we have to put this chemical into the pool. Choke. Ayo, together leh. Okay, what is the answer, both of you? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, both, both get, both get. But so far, uh, Ting is in the lead, right? And the last one is, um, this is a, an insect that goes from flower to flower as it pollinates the, ins the, the, the plants. Choke. Yes, oh <laughs> It's a, it's a bee. Oh, wait. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's a bee. I was like, oh, that's a new swim stroke, isn't it? Let's do the bee. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, both win, both win. This is just for fun, okay? <laughs> that's so fun. All right, thank you guys for joining us on Home Together. I wish you both the best. 
Uh, I know 2020, we don't know what's going to happen around the corner, but uh, keep at it. Singapore is very proud of both of you and your sister as well. Thank you so much you for so having much. us. Stay tuned because coming up next, we are going to have an exercise segment and then we're going to meet Akong once again. Today, we are going to do five different types of abs exercises to stretch and strengthen our entire core. Welcome back. A lean muscular bod with well-defined abs is more than a glorified symbol of sex appeal. It speaks volumes of sheer hard work and discipline. Now, if you want to know how to strengthen your abdominal muscles, join Walter Tay now for a vigorous workout. Hey everyone, I'm Walter. We all know the appeal of having glorious abs. While it takes a lot of effort and determination to achieve them, they are attainable if we push ourselves really hard. So today, we are going to do five different types of abs exercises to stretch and strengthen our entire core. Let's warm up our whole core with the first exercise, mountain climbers. Ready, go! Bring your knees high. Pump up your heart rate. If you need to slow down, it's fine. If you can speed up and challenge yourself, Go ahead. And time. Okay. And next exercise will be V up. Go. V-ups are great to build general strength for your core. If you're losing balance, it's fine to bend your knees. And time. And the next exercise, we are going to hit our side abs with Russian twist. Ready and go. This is a great exercise to activate our side abs and our obliques. Can you feel it in your side abs? You should be feeling it. And time. Next, we're going to go deeper with our side abs with plank side to side. Let's get into position and go. Take this as active rest. Remember, regulate your breathing. So you can last throughout the workout. If you haven't felt it from Russian twist, you should be feeling the burn right now with this plank side to side. And time. All right. And let's finish off this set with high knee taps. Bring your knees high enough to effectively engage your core. Ready and go. It's the last exercise of the set. You're going to bring up the intensity. Challenge yourself. Bring it high, bring it high. And time. Well done. With this exercise, we have engaged all the muscles in our core. You may go for two more rounds to produce better results. Remember, make exercise a way of life. Love it, embrace it, and don't forget to have fun. It's time for a quick break, and when we return, find out what it takes for a senior to be an online star in this day and age. Welcome back. 
Digitalization is the way to go in this new normal, and it's more than just jumping on the bandwagon. Being digitally connected and savvy means that we can buy, pay, learn and play at our convenience, any time of the day. And for a senior like Ah Kong, he has bigger and greater ambitions. He actually wants to make a name for himself in the digital world. What motivates him to harbour such aspirations and more importantly, can he make it? <laughs> Let's take a look. Pa, excuse me. Pa, I'm sweeping the floor. Please lift up your legs. Pa, can you lift up your legs or not? Ah, Moya! I may be old, but I'm not deaf. Shout so loud. Pa, why do you look so upset? Why am I so stupid? What happened? I transferred $50 to Fatty Wing via internet banking. Wow! Pa, you're very smart! Sometimes I even have to get our girl to do all the e-payments for me. Uh, but Pa, did you key in the correct recipient, uh, correct account number and correct amount? Yeah, 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 all correct. Then, why you say yourself stupid? Heart pain already, uh, but this fatty wing still go and send me all these smiley emoticons uh, via WhatsApp. Pa, I'm very confused. What is happening here? You promise you don't know Gita Mother? Promise. So during circuit breaker period, Fatty Wing and I were so bored that we decided to <gasps> gather at the boy deck and chit chat. No. We already have a group chat with all our seniors and we do video call all. Go jalan jalan and take bus from Jurong to Pasaris. I am a very law-abiding senior. During this whole period, have you ever seen me step out of the door, huh? In three months? Ben, what do you do? So Fatty Wing and I decided to place a bet. What kind of bet? We place a bet on how many puppies that Auntie Pauline would give birth to. <gasps> Auntie Pauline is pregnant? No, don't be stupid. Her dog, Hua Hua. Pa, next time can you say properly, please? Anyway, can't believe you uncles uh, can bet on everything and anything. Hmm. Luckily, the bet was only $50. I must find a way to get back my $50. Remember, Pa, no more betting with Betty Wing. Otherwise, I will report to Ma. Okay, okay, okay. So long winded. <laughs> I have an idea. I know how you can earn back your $50 that you lost to Fatty Wing. How? Since you like talking so much and you used to be a sales supervisor, this job will be chicken feet for you. Have you seen this video online of this uh, Ge Thai singer garnering so many views just by selling fish? <laughs> Excuse me. I studied all the way to A-levels. huh? I am not going to be a fish seller. Pa. In this day and age, we must learn to be flexible and keep up with times, right? Yes, yes, it's true. Besides, if you are good at what you do, no one will care. Correct or not? You got the point. In fact, this girl high singer is so funny and good uh, in his videos that he's going international. He has won so many fans and plenty of sponsors in China want a piece of him. So how do I become popular like this fish seller, girl Thai person? Huh? What can I sell? Ah. How would you sell this broom? Uh, uh, <clears throat> come, come, come. Va, va, voom. Come ah. and buy my broom. You can sweep. Oh. Uh, it, it, it's okay, Pa. It's okay, Pa. Uh, how would you sell this T-shirt? <laughs> come, come, come. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Look like this auntie. Buy one auntie! Hey, Amoy. Can you teach me how to do Facebook Live? If you don't know, how would I know? 
It's good to know that by next year, all secondary school students will be issued with their own personal learning device, be it a tablet or laptop. This is seven years ahead of Ministry of Education's original target. Now, similarly, no seniors will be left behind with digital ambassadors hired to show them the ropes so that they can navigate in this digital world safe and sound. I'm Hosan Leong and I'll see you tomorrow once again on Home Together. Cause home is never far